outstanding fast bowler from a country that neither developed nor encouraged pace bowling. He could score centuries at better than a runner ball. He played with pride and passion and always to win. Charismatic, aggressive and headstrong, Kapil Dev is one of ESPN's legends of cricket. Oh, and he's got him. World Cup final at Lords. Kapil Dev's Indian side set the West Indies a modest target of 184. Most observers expected the Windies to make the runs with ease, but Kapil had the last word. That's out. Yes. Tremendous performance by this Indian side. And here's a man who's been largely responsible for it over the last two weeks. Yeah, while growing up, obviously, uh, we, we saw a lot of Kapil Dev and uh, the bowlers wanted to always become like Kapil Dev and the batters wanted to become like Sunil Gavaskar. So uh, I saw him lifting the World Cup and that's that's a fond memory I have one. No Indian can forget about that. He comes in the same category as the Imran Khan, the Richard Hadley's, Ian Botham of his era, truly great. And again, playing for a team like India, which was still one of the weaker teams in world cricket. Uh, so that was never easy. Plus the bowling burden. You know, whenever India was in trouble through the 80s, the ball would be tossed to Kapil Dev and he would have just bowled a 12-over spell and would take a breather for 10 minutes and the ball was back at him. Magnificent strike of the ball. Really good eye. And again, he, he carried the seam attack for India for it seemed like about, well, forever. He you know, just seemed to keep on going and going. Uh, and uh, what more can you say about the guy? Uh, he was dangerous, and you only had to see some of the knocks he played, particularly in uh, World Cup and One Day games for India. Magnuson. And he goes again, and my word, that's through and away for four more. I've seen him play some of the most outstanding innings. He got 100 uh, towards the end of his career, 92, 93 in Port Elizabeth, where Alan Donald was coming in and bowling quick. It was one of the fastest displays of bowling I've seen from Alan Donald. And he got, uh, he got a stunning 100. With the bat, Kappel was electrifying. Kappel there was an outstanding cricketer. Good batsman, good bowler, someone who could change the game with either bat or ball. And again, someone that I think the Indian team believed in. Someone that I think made the Indian team believe that they could win things and they could do a lot better than just go out and be sparking here or there. Harold can always remember an innings, one day innings he played at uh, the Gabba against us where he hit uh, our bowlers all round Brisbane it seemed and, and uh, one of them, Jeremy Coney, took out the white handkerchief from one stage and just surrendered to him because he hit the ball so hard and so often. That's a big hit and that's going to find the gap between extra cover and mid-off. That's a magnificent blow from Kapil Dev. That's what India need. He was a destroyer. He would just attack the bowlers and attack them, you know, to the extent that the bowlers, sometimes I've seen bowlers losing their concentration, losing their confidence. And that is what Kapil Dev thrived on. He was a very attacking batsman, violent as they said, I would say destructive. Cappell's achievements as a batsman were considerable, but with the ball in hand, he became a world record breaker. In the straight one and gone. Caught at third slip. That was a very good delivery from the Indian all-rounder. Wonderful all-rounder. I sort of played against him over a qu quite a period of time. First for Australia when he was getting to the top of his powers or top of his game, when he bowled really well, swung the ball out, good pace, and was able to, to hit the ball very well towards the latter part of the innings as well. I remember touring my early days of touring India, early 80s when he was playing there. Um, he really, as an all-rounder, uh, was great. I'd always loved all-rounders. Um, people like both in Kapil Dev, uh, Hatley as well, you know, because you, you just think, what a great contribution to, to a team, to, to a game. They can do anything, everything. Um, and he did, he just got involved. 
At the age of 15, Kapil Dev, a precocious cricketing talent, was sent to a live-in camp for emerging Indian players. The story goes that uh, a camp was organised for, um, for young cricketers in India, to which the young Kapil Dev was invited. And uh, during the lunch break at this, uh, this camp, um, they were served their meal, which um, wasn't up to Kapil Dev's standards. The head of the camp comes up and says, what, you want more food? And Kapil Dev is uh, reputed to have said, yes, I do want more food, I'm a fast bowler. And the um, camp head said, oh no, we don't produce fast bowlers in India. And that really drove him to become a fast bowler. He said, I want to prove these guys wrong. And I think a bit of that stayed with him always. Kapil was, was more a swing bowler. He could bowl lively, but I mean, he, he had that ability to swing the ball. Whereas Imran and one or two others had the, you know, quite the capability of bowling very, very quick bounces and, and that. But the one that you worried about with Keppel, a bit like Sir Richard, was, was, the, was, was the swing. And uh, again, his accuracy and, uh, you know, the ability to, to think players out. He was another thinking cricketer. Um, but he was, again, very consistent, as you have to be. And learning to bowl on Indian wickets and, you know, being able to swing the ball he was, uh, again, another one of those uh, wonderful cricketers that, that, that bowled it, you know, at a decent pace, still a decent pace, and swung it. Through the 60s and early 70s, the new ball was, was a distraction. It was just a means of doing something to it to get the spinners on. We'd roll the ball in the very first over, roll the ball from mid on back to the bowlers to get the shine away. And suddenly the new ball became a weapon for India. And that was as much of a culture change as the fact that an Indian could bat against the world's fastest bowlers.